Hey guys, Shannon Riley with Five Star Athletics. Um, some of you might know me. I do some of the behind the scenes stuff for Jill, um, all the actual hard work. Um, I, she asked me to come down and give some exercises that you guys could possibly do at home. Um, it is very important that you guys stay active during this time um, to go into whatever season we're going to have, whether it be summer or next fall. Um, all right, so first thing to do, very important, warm up. Um, I don't know what kind of space you have at home, but easy things you can do to warm up. If you have a jump rope, do jump rope for a minute. You can even do it without the jump rope and just actually do this. Um, but do it for a minute straight, no stop. Um, that will get your heart rate up right away. Another thing you can do, find a wall in your house. I'm pretending this is the wall here. And you're gonna have a, about a 45 degree angle. I obviously can't do that, I will fall. So 45 degree angle here, okay? And you're going to do sprinters. So it's gonna be up, up. I can't do it here because I don't have the wall, but you get the idea. Make sure the knees are coming up high into your chest, okay? And you do start off slow, go medium, and then go fast with that. Those should be good enough warm-ups for now. If you have anything else, if you have any equipment at home, treadmill, stairmaster, or whatever, go ahead and do those as well. Alright, so some of you might not have any equipment, some of you might have very little equipment, um, some might have a whole gym. So I'm going to go based off pretty much no equipment. I'm going to use a bucket at home, you can use a chair, even a step at home, um, whatever you, you might have a bucket, whatever you can use. So we're going to do one legged sit ups from this. Um, so back nice and straight. All right. What we're doing, one leg at a time, okay? You're gonna do 12 each side. We're coming up, all right? And back down. We're gonna do that 12 times each leg. It's very important, whatever chair, bench, stair, whatever you're using at home, you're not much higher than this here. So quads pretty much 90 degree angle or parallel to the ground, 90 degree angle with the knee. Also, when you do this, very important, when you're coming up off the knee, off, the chair, this knee, make sure it does not go in. So you want to come up, make sure that knee stays over that toe and doesn't do one of these. That's probably the most important part of this. Um, so like I said, 12 each side, do about two sets of those. Um, three if you're feeling really bored and want to do extra work. Um, something else you can do with chair or steps, um, whatever you have. We're going to do shoulder taps from this position. So here, back nice and straight, okay? You can hold however your stair works or your chair works, or you can go like this. What you're going to focus on is shoulder taps. Come so you can see. Nice and slow. When you do these, it is very important that your back stays nice and straight and you're stabilizing through your shoulder so you're not dipping at all like this, okay, and your butt's not way in the air. You're here stabilizing. Do that for about 45 seconds each time and do that twice. All right. Another one, cone, or you can use anything that's about that height, so milk jug, Coke can, whatever you have, use that. You're gonna do one-legged reaches, so, I line up, I'm gonna start with my left leg. If I'm doing my left leg, I'm using my right arm. So I'm coming here, and I'm going down, and I'm tapping, and I'm coming back up. Again, same thing as the bucket slash chair exercise. Very important, this knee doesn't do one of these. It stays nice, over the toe, coming down, back up. You do these nice and slow, so you actually feel the work being done. So it's not one of these, Slowing down, up, up, down, bending, actually getting down, and back up. Okay, I feel that, you should feel it. Quads, hamstrings, butt, okay? I know some people have these at home, I know some people probably don't. Um, you can probably order them online for very cheap. Um, they're great to have for future use as well. Um, there's many uses we can do with these, but I'm gonna show you one today. All right, might get delivered in a month if you order it today, who knows. All right, with these, you're going to do 
I call this a semi squat. So we're not fully in a squat, we're just in a semi squat. Here, here. So we do back and forth, okay? But we're doing these. Very important. A lot of my athletes like to drag their feet. We're not dragging, we're picking up and we're going over. Also, do you see my feet? My foot that is going out is not pointed that way. My toes stay nice and straight here, okay? Very easy, great for the legs, great for the core. All right. All right, I know you probably don't have this at home, but you can use a broom handle, mop handle, whatever. Um, again, all these exercises are just ideas you can do. You don't have to do them all. You don't have to do them in any order. Just do some of them, pick ones you like, pick ones you have equipment for that you can do. There's a lot you can do with a broom handle, okay? We're gonna start with a squat overhead, okay? So, nice and up overhead. We're going down into a squat, low squat. These, your arms should stay up right about here. Shouldn't be down here, shouldn't be behind your head. Right up in here, up and down. Okay, pretty easy, I'll do it from the side view. Stay in, here, back nice and straight, chest is up. Um, and knees stay over those toes, they don't go in. Um, another thing we can do is this. I like to use these or PVC pipes or brooms, whatever, for any of the plank exercises I do. So when I go down into a plank, it's easier from here. Okay, when I go down into a plank, Might be too big. I think I got it to work. All right, so plank hold with this. It should be touching your upper back and your butt and your head. That is the proper spine alignment to do these exercises. So you can do that with this. Another one you can do with it. This one's a little long, but. The ones where you're going here, opposite arm, opposite leg. This should stay along your spine, your butt, and the back of your head. Proper alignment. Um, those are always good to do. Uh, for the planks, I would hold about 30 seconds. For everybody has different names for these, so for this one, I do three second holds each side, and I do about 12 on each side. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys right now. I will probably be doing another segment of this at some point during this quarantine. Um, so if you have any suggestions or if you want certain exercises, let Joe know. I'm sure she'll tell me and we'll get those to you. Stay well.